Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm in After Effects 2021, and I'm going to show you how to add in some camera movement or camera shake using a second clip and tracking motion and a few other cool things. So let me just start you off here. I've got a very short picture or video here, pardon me, of this little pupper. I got it just off Pexels. So it was free. And I'm just going to do a quick preview to show you what we're starting with here. All right. Here comes a vicious little weenie dog. Holy smokes, he's in a big fight. Oh yeah, big, big, scary boy. <laughs> Very cute dog. We got a cute little pupper there. And uh, what I actually what I do now is I want to make this have some motion. So the next step, once you've got some footage in here, is I've got something called uh, backup footage. It's called production ID, which is a silly name, but really it's just uh, footage from Pexels as well. I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to show you what I got here. So when I double click on it, it's going to go into the footage monitor. And then I am going to go ahead and just basically scrub through it. So you can see, you'll see here that the video, the camera really moves up. It moves down. It moves a little left, a little to the right. It's just this nice, attractive lady bouncing and running through a field. Okay. What I want to do, though, is I want to take that camera motion in from this video and I want to apply it to the other video. So that's kind of what I'm trying to go for. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this video and I'm actually going to cut it to three seconds and I'll show you why. Let me go back to the first one. You'll see here that when I get to the end here, it says the video length is three seconds long. So I've got three seconds of the puppy dog doing puppy dog things. So I'm going to double click again on the production ID video, this one where we've got the camera movement, and I'm going to set the in point right here. I'm going to left click set in point to current time which is where that little doodaddy is. And then I'm going to move it forward and I'm going to set the out point to three seconds. This I'm going to set the out point. So what I've done is I've clipped off a small piece of this, which is the beginning piece, and I'm going to use that for the motion tracking. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this footage and I'm going to slide it underneath video MP4. So it still doesn't show up here as you can see, but when I'm clicked on video MP4, well, there we go. We've still got the pupper dog on top, but we've got the other footage underneath it. So the next step I'm going to do is I am going to take this footage and I'm going to scale it up. And I'm going to make an assumption here, but let's go here. I'm going to go to transform and I'm going to take the scale and I'm going to go to about 120%. The reason why, or yeah, let's go to 125 just in case. The reason why I'm doing this is because when we take the camera shake from the bottom footage, it's going to move the top up and down. And if it moves to the side and to up and down, there's no footage outside of the boundaries. So it's going to get a black bar. And I don't want that. So I want to just go ahead and test it with this. So we've increased the scale across the whole shot. Good. Now, the next step is you go to the production ID or the bottom one in this case. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close preview and I'm going to go to Tracker. Now there's a chance Tracker is not open on your, on your um, automatically, you can't see it. If you can't see it, go to Window, drop it down and make sure there's a check mark beside Tracker. When we go to Tracker, making sure you're selected on the bottom footage, we're gonna go ahead and left click on Track Motion. When we do that, you're gonna see that it's created some track points, okay? So we've got a Tracker, we've got a Track Point, and now, I'm going to analyze it. So we've set the track, we've hit track, and now we're going to analyze it. So I'm going to left click on analyze forward here. So click the little play button and bang. It's now doing its analysis. This isn't, uh, this could take a few seconds. Let's see what's going on here. How's it going? There we go. Now it's off and running. This is very CPU intensive. So you'll see here that we've got a track point. It's basically tracking the motion in the shot. And we're going to take that motion and we're going to next apply it to the top frame or to the top video. So let's finish that up. And presto, it looks like it's done. And you can see if I zoom in a little bit that it has the tracking here. So it's not a very big amount of motion. But you know what? We're showing you that we just want to show you the technique. So we've gone ahead and tracked the motion. I'm going to go back to the composition. Now I'm going to click on the top video which is the one with the puppy dog and I'm gonna go ahead and now under tracker I'm gonna select motion source and I'm gonna go instead of selecting the top one I'm gonna select production ID 
which is our bottom footage. When I do that, you'll see here that it takes us back into the layer. I'm going to left click on apply and I'm going to apply the dimensions X and Y. So it's going to move up and it's going to move sideways. I'm going to hit OK. And now, when we go back to the composition, it's going to start thinking about what we just did here. I'm going to drag and drop the time head, the, the bit to the beginning. <laughs> Come on, Curtis, the time head or the time player, whatever you want to call it. Um, and now, when I hit the preview button, which is up at the top here, it's going to have the motion tracking applied. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on this and watch what happens. It now has some camera movement. It's not a lot and I'm running it in full. Maybe I'll run it in. Yeah, I can run it in full. So you guys, it's not a huge amount of motion, but we've introduced camera motion into the top footage using just a couple of different techniques. Now I will note there are other ways to do this. You can do this using um, different features and functions and stuff like that. But this is an easy way to do it. Adds a little bit of organic motion into the video. As you can see here, the, it's moving side to side, back and forth. Puppy looks like it's not quite on a tripod anymore. Guys, that's how you do adding in tracking or adding in motion. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I have a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.